Hey folks, if you're looking for an in-depth review, you're in the right place. And today, I'm going to be talking about another of the birthday gifts I got from Batsfine, specifically Red Candle Games Detention, a point-and-click that highlights both mythological and mundane horrors within a scholastic setting. Which is to say, it's time to crash into class and discover what dark recesses are explored within the title, and whether I thought Red Candle's entry deserved extra credit for its creation. I'm your host, Arlian. Let's find out together. Taiwan, the 1960s. Martial law has shifted the political climate, diligently rooting out every sign of communism, something which even creeps into the everyday school life of students Wei Chung Ting and Fang Rei Xin, quiet dread that tinges their everyday activity. Though it soon pales in comparison to what the pair will have to face as they find themselves left behind at their school during a typhoon, isolated and alone, save for a parade of tormented spirits. Ghosts whose fate seems intrinsically tied to the bleak exertions of the government upon those fragile minds it sought to mold. That summary hardly does the game justice, however, as Detention's narrative kept me guessing for the duration of my playthrough. Whilst initially you're provided some context and a few story scenes, it's not long until you'll find yourself searching through the halls of a desolate-seeming school, doing your utmost to piece together what happened through the fragmented notes of students and faculty alike. That, and soaking in what details can be found from the environment itself, and, well, it is a doozy. While there's a number of adventure games that will occasionally throw a creepy puzzle at you for the simple sake of trying to elicit a squirm, that's far from the case here. Bits of uncomfortable foreshadowing and grim metaphors are put to use, turning the various conundrums you conquer into clever bits of storytelling. That's not to say there aren't moments which exist strictly to put your hairs on end, but the game felt dense on a storytelling front, a feeling which only intensified as I neared the game's final acts, which set certain gameplay elements aside in favor of furthering its story. And to the game's credit, this transition works well, because whilst there's certainly a sense of tension associated with its phantoms, it's not its mythological elements that are its most chilling aspect. Because beneath the nightmarish facade of the abandoned school and its spectral denizens, it also explores the domestic terrors associated with Taiwan's white terror. If you're not familiar with it, it's a very grim chapter in that country's history that could be considered loosely related to the Red Scare that consumed the West, albeit far worse. And detention, at its heart, provides a glimpse into that period of time that's chilling, yet retains its humanity, something that is especially driven home during the game's good ending, which provides just a few more chunks of insight you might otherwise have missed. Thankfully, it's not too hard to obtain it, given the game does provide you checkpoints for each of its chapters, and all the relevant choices are in the final chapter, facilitating seeing everything the game has to offer. And it does have a lot, and not just on a narrative front. Like I said earlier, Detention is a 2D puzzle game. What really charmed me, however, was the fact that its puzzles felt quite clever. Whilst there are a few puzzles which can be boiled down as fetch quests, there's a great deal which require you to actively work out a proper solution to them. It also includes a musical puzzle, which was an absolute nightmare for me to figure out, and required me to jot down the notes and work it all out piece by piece, because I am not a musically inclined individual. I am, in fact, a fucking potato on this front, and frequently hit dead ends when it comes to this kind of thing. Because this puzzle doesn't just entail playing out a tune on a piano based on sheet music. Oh no, that'd be easy. No, if you're tone deaf, you will be in fact screwed because it requires you to recognize and play a brief set of keys by ear. By ear. It's hard to quantify just how relieved I felt when I figured that out, but I'm pretty sure I told the game to eat my ass during my whole little victory chant. That said, while the puzzles are front and center to what you'll be doing in detention, they aren't the sole concern you'll have you'll also have to keep ahead of the various ghostly inhabitants in the school. 
What I found neat about the associated mechanics here is not only discover how to deal with each phantom vis-a-vis -vis small bits of folklore associated with each one, the actual process of holding your breath was tense. That's right, you need to hold your breath around the ghost while you do what needs to be done, and it's pretty harrowing to watch the screen blur, or to misjudge when to start holding your breath, only to let out an exhale and set off the same phantom you were trying to avoid into furiously chasing you down because of the noise your gasp made. It's tense stuff, and not overly prevalent either, so it never becomes an intrusive element, especially when you consider that death is a slap on the wrist. Like, yes, you have to witness your grim demise, but immediately afterwards you're given a small hint as to how not to die, and then simply set back to a very recent checkpoint so the game autosaves constantly. Things were in fact spaced out so nicely in regards to skulking by ghosts and the overall repercussions of dealing with them that I found myself missing their presence for the game's finale, though it did provide me with some of the trickier puzzles of the entire experience, so it balanced out. It's not just the story or gameplay I've praised for it either. Visually speaking, I was extremely fond of detention visuals. The game is just uncanny as hell. Going from what should be the odd comfort of a school grounds to rooms of maniacally cluttered desks bathed in red light to odd glimpses of footage which insinuate themselves in scenes and hint at worse things to come. Detention is a nightmarish treat to behold, and I frequently found myself pausing to take in the sights and to try and make sense of what I was seeing insofar as the story. To say that it kept me guessing and on my toes for the entirety of my playthrough is far from an exaggeration. The audio is good too. The sound effects were definitely chilling, though it was the music that held the biggest surprise for me. Specifically, I did a bit of digging after I finished the game, and I found out a rather neat fact. Namely, the crux of Detention's music were songs that were banned during the White Terror era, which is an altogether interesting choice in the face of the narrative as a whole, which really does help to highlight a very simple fact that Detention puts a great deal of effort into putting its story front and center and providing a compelling and altogether creepy narrative for players to gradually unravel. Whilst it took a while for me to discover where it was going with everything, by the time things were in full swing I was glued to my seat even as I dreaded each fresh new discovery. Like I don't actually consider myself easily bothered, and this game managed to get under my skin. and. The fact that it managed to marry its gameplay so closely to its story made me pretty damn happy, especially given how solid the experience felt. It's a legitimately good puzzle game, to the point that I'm actually looking forward to checking out more of Red Candle Games' body of works. Which is to say, I have to give a very big thank you to That's Fine because I rate Detention as a crit hit, by virtue of a strong story and very solid gameplay that's just so complimentary to the whole, I would firmly recommend anyone watching this to give it a try. It's just that great. Anywho, thanks for tuning in. If you agree, disagree, or just have something to say to me, feel free to comment. And if you enjoy my efforts to create new indie reviews, interviews, and gaming content, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you know there's a new release. For the Discord savvy folks, click the video description to find a link to my community, the Crit Hit Cauldron, and to my Patreon so you can support me and the other members of Crit Hit. Lastly, if you want to watch me get dunked on in indie games live, check out my Twitch at twitch.tv slash Arlian. That said, I'll catch y'all on the next episode of Crit Hit. Take care till then, folks.